Welcome to the Air Force. The Air Force uniform has been worn over the years with a great deal of pride and professionalism. It's internationally well known and respected. What you get, when you get it, and the way you wear it has changed substantially over the years. Gone are the days of one hat fits all. To ensure the correct fit, recruits go through a process of being measured and fitted before they actually walk through the equipment shelves to receive their uniform items. It's very important that the recruits tell their NCOs or the clothing store staff is that if there's a defect with their clothing or it doesn't fit correctly, um, that way we can uh, rectify the situation really early in, the, in their course. We want you to leave here happy with what you get and the size that you've actually got. So if you wish to try on a different size of something, if you feel something is too big or too small, let us know. We will let you try on a different size of something. The initial kit that the recruits receive is the Disruptive Pattern Camouflage Uniform, or DPCU for short. This is the main working uniform worn at 1RTU. An important part of the uniform is the combat boots. If the boots don't fit properly, they can cause serious trouble with the legs and feet. The most important thing they do here on day one is to get their boots correct. If a shirt's a little bit big, doesn't matter, but if your boots don't fit you correctly, you can end up in hospital with blisters for two or three weeks, back squatted, start your training all over again. It's the one thing you've got to get right. I think the DPCU represents the, the operational side of the job that we uh, train for. So when we put that on, it actually changed their mindset. They realised they're into the uh, Defence Force and Air Force and they've taken on that role. And as we go through the course, they've got to work hard to earn to wear their blues. And when they, when they get to a certain part of the course and they do earn that, they're very proud that they've made a big achievement. And it's not just uniforms. Recruits are issued with many different items from sleeping bags to... All of this stuff needs to be looked after, so recruits are shown how to use and care for everything they get. In the last few weeks of basic training, recruits will be issued with their dress uniforms or blues. These uniforms are tailored to fit each individual. Some individual members don't quite always fit into the sizing range, so to cater for the fitting we just take some pants in. Their waist might be too big for one size but too small for the other size. Could be a number of things and we just cater to fit the individual. So when the recruits come in and put on their blues, that you can see their chest pumping out and their shoulders going back with the pride of putting on this blue uniform and can't wait to get out in the public and, and show off their new look. Again, recruits are shown how to take care of them and how to wear them properly and with pride. The main thing we look for when it comes to the kidding and make sure that it's nice and neat is the attention to detail and pride in their uniform that they'll be wearing every day from when they are here to when they leave to the wider Air Force. It's this pride and professionalism learnt during basic training that leads towards a successful career in the Royal Australian Air Force. And the pride is seen here, in front of family and friends, on the parade ground at graduation. A smart uniform, worn with pride. <laughs>